Hi, my name is Becky, and I'm an author on the Debunking Addiction blog on HealthyPlace.com. Today I want to talk about the difference between being a recovering alcoholic and a suffering alcoholic. Now, as an alcoholic, I have certain personality defects, character traits, that cause me to not handle stress well. Um, and for everyone, it's a different uh, issue. You can see in some of the links below about uh, triggers. Different people have different triggers for what makes them want to drink or use. Um, for me, stress is a big one. And as an alcoholic, my main character defect is that I choose to solve my problems through alcohol and escaping my problems and through anger or running away and isolating. Now, the difference between that and the person that I and when I'm actively working a program is the difference between a suffering alcoholic and a recovering alcoholic. So if I am taking action on a regular basis to use other tools and techniques to solve my problems, then I am living in recovery. You're not necessarily just in recovery if you're not drinking. That's more of what we would refer to as someone who's a dry alcoholic. Okay, they're not drinking, but they don't have any other solutions. So they're still living in that negative environment um, that we suffer through as, you know, as alcoholics. The other tricky thing is that I can slip back into that mental and emotional state at any time. It doesn't matter how long I've been sober. I can slip back into old behaviors very easily if I'm not using the tools that I've learned in sobriety. And in turn, that can eventually lead to drinking. That's why a lot of times in recovery, people will say that when someone relapses, they started the relapse a long time ago because the first thing to go is the emotional sobriety and the willingness to use the tools that you used to stop drinking to begin with. And then in that period of time of not using the tools it becomes a lot more appealing to take a drink. And so that's one of the reasons why I have to really remain vigilant about working a program on a regular basis and checking in with people who are alcoholics and not ever thinking that I'm going to completely defeat this disease. Because the people that I have known that have gone out after any period of sobriety, no matter how long it's been, have ended up right back where they were before. And for me, that's a really, really good teaching point. And as sad as I am about their suffering, I am immensely grateful to them for being teachers to me and showing me that this condition will continue to follow me. And I'm so grateful for the people who continue to stay sober because they show me that not only is it possible to go through anything in life, anything that can ha possibly happen and still not drink, um, but they also show me that there is still the opportunity to have a good life, even though I have these character defects that want to drive me crazy and want to hurt me and want to hurt other people. I can still be a good person. I just have to be willing to do the work. So I am grateful to be here writing on this blog today. And I am grateful that I am a recovering alcoholic. And uh, thank you to everybody out there who's listening. And feel free to leave any comments or thoughts below. Hope to hear from you soon. Bye.